Okay, so Alpha Academy, it is. Yeah. And this is insane. They are really dragging this along. We, we know how it's going to happen. And, well, what's going to happen? And we're invested. We know that the, the inevitable split is coming. But I thought that the segment with Otis... I'm always tempted to call him Otis. Because he, he had a... I forget what, what part, what group he was in. And they instead of calling him Otis, they would call him Otis. <laughs> this is like last year or the year before. <laughs> but anyhow, Otis. So he fought Bronson Reed and... That was, yeah. He, he he loses because he doesn't listen to Chad, and then Chad was gonna. They have somebody in WWE Create has, has like a belt fetish, like a BDSM type of thing, <laughs> because he was gonna put that that belt strap on Otis's back, but Maxine stopped him, and I don't know how she's gonna get ousted from from uh, Alpha Academy. I don't know. What they're gonna do with her per se, but they're they're really I do like the storyline and they're building up they're building up Chad Gable to be a ruthless individual who engages in psychological torture of his uh, his stablemates. It makes him a very unlikable heel. It's not one of those things where you're trying to get them booed, but they're not getting booed. I think people understand that yes, this is, is storyline, but people are still engaged in. They, they love Otis. They love Tozawa for what he does, which is, uh, I guess, comedy stuff. And then Maxine, she's a sweetheart. She doesn't do anything wrong. <laughs> and they're just taking Chad's abuse. And so this was, I'm just counting the days. I don't have a ton to say about that. It's just, I, un I liked it. I understood this place. I'm looking forward to next week. Yeah, for me, I think the promo was entertaining with Chad trying to beat Otis, but us waiting on Otis to make a decision is getting old fast. Yes. <laughs> I feel if he doesn't do something next week, I don't feel sorry for Otis anymore. Uh, and this brings me back to Chad as well. If they're still not living up to your standard, why are you still associating with them? Like, recruit the Kree brothers, get that rematch, get the title. Let's get this. But I understand what you're saying of them trying to, they're making um, Chad to be this psychological, tormenting type of heel. Um, but it's kind of just like, you don't need to put yourself through this, Chad. <laughs> you're kind of putting yourself through stress. Well, Chad, too, by putting up with this, trying to. Oh, try yeah. Do, but, but I mean, he, and Otis, too. I mean, I just, like I said, Otis. Nobody. Been, yeah. <laughs> like, Otis should have, like, it's like a toy, like a toxic. Are you victim blaming? It's like a toxic. It's like a toxic relationship. You guys don't need to be each other. Like, need to be with each other. Like you guys could split up. Like you guys don't have to be. It's not a match team made with other people. <laughs> yeah. You can team with people that you like and that love you. <laughs> yeah. So it's just. So I, I think it's a, it's both sides really. But Otis is just like, oh my god, you gonna make a decision or what? You need to make a decision. Come on. Like what are you doing? But you keep yeah, doing this, Otis, this whole thing. Where, yeah. Like in the come facial on. expressions. Like, he really come does on. piss me off. Yeah. So that's that's really the thing. I actually am. Uh, I was hoping that that Gable would actually hit Otis with the belt. <laughs> <laughs> I might be in the minority of folks. Yeah. So, what do you think was going to come out of this actually uh, storyline? When, well, when, you, when do you? I know you think it's. You know they're going to break up, but when do you think it's going to actually going to happen? Hopefully next week. <laughs> I, I want to get to the good stuff. At this point, I mean, Chad, he, this is a, a textbook play from Roman Reigns and the Bloodline storyline. In the beginning, we had the psychological torture of the Usos, and he was gaslighting other wrestlers and just all the all the mind games that he was playing. He was uh, very cerebral. No, uh, maybe a nod to the Triple H there. But, yeah, hopefully soon, and they can get on. I was hoping that Alpha Academy, or not Alpha Academy. Yeah, Alpha Academy. I hope they would they would get beaten up by the Creed brothers this week. But the Creed brothers were involved in their own thing this week, and they were the ones getting beaten up. <laughs> so I, I do know that I do know what we're building towards, and there will be an intersection there. But there has been a few detours in that journey, and I'm kind of I'm in the same boat as you. I'm losing my patience with Otis and uh, Tazawa and Maxine. 
Yeah, you could kind of tell they're kind of building up towards something because the whole match between the Authors of Pain and the Kree brothers was just kind of out of left field. It wasn't completely. It was just like, okay. <laughs> I guess we can have this match. That's a match. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Get something you put on the card. It's okay. Uh, so yeah, you could you could kind of see it, but um, yeah, I thought the promo was entertaining, but it was just like, okay, we need to hurry this up. <laughs> you brought him out there. <laughs> well, they didn't really bring him out there to beat him, but after this, he just decided, okay, I'm gonna beat him instead of uh, breaking this whole thing up and seeking new talent. But I like Chad though. I like the whole feud he's gonna have with Sammy and Sammy coming out there to like trying to save Otis for the like. And that's that's the other thing too. At one point, when does Sammy be like, "Okay, Otis, like, I'm sick of trying to save you." Like, at what point is Sammy's like, "Okay, we're done. <laughs> Come on, you know, can't man. be helped." Sammy is he's serving the same role in this feud as he did with the Bloodline. Was trying mm-hmm. to get the I think it's trying to get Jay to leave. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. So 